I've recently made a title animation pack for Adobe Premiere Pro. It is completely free to download. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download, install and edit these title animation presets. So let's get into it. So the title animations that I'm referring to are the 50 titles, the motion graphics pack. And this is on brokerfilms.gumroad.com. So you just go to this pack here. This is the title animation pack. You can see I've got a personal use completely free of charge, or there is a small charge for commercial use. But if you select personal use, you just press zero here, add to cart, and then all you need to do is just pop your email address in, and that's just so you can get the download link. But once you've passed that, you then have access to all of the animations. So you could download them individually, or alternatively, you can just press download all. So you can download them all as a zip, it's a very small file, so it would download straight away. So there you go. If you've downloaded the personal use, it will be called personal use. And this is where all of the Mogut files can be selected. So if we go into Premiere Pro and we load up the essential graphics window, if you can't see that, then you want to go to window and make sure essential graphics has a tick next to it. But from there, you then want to go to browse select this button in the bottom right, which is the install motion graphics template button. Then you just want to go ahead and navigate to that file. So personal use, let's go for personal use one. So we'll confirm that. And as you can see, the title animation will appear in here. So you can just then go ahead and drag that into your project. It will appear media offline for a second. And then once it loads, you'll notice you've got this title animation installed in your project. Now, in order to edit this, you want to go to the edit tab. And as you can see, I've tried to make sure that you get full control here without the template falling apart. So you've got your master controls, which is your master position, your master scale, master rotation and master opacity. So when I say master, I mean everything. It's all connected. It's a bit like affecting a null object in After Effects. Then we can go to the next category, which is big text. So that is this text here. You can see we can change this. We can change the font to something different. We can make this thin. We can make this thick. We can change the size of this. We can change the position, the scale, the rotation. We can also decrease or increase the opacity. We can add a tracking animation to that. And of course, we can change the gradient like this. Then you've got the box controls and this is on the right. So the miles. So you can go for box text and you can change what it says there. Let's go for a really long word. So let's just do years twice. So as you can see, that is really long. So how would we edit this for this to work in the template? Well, we would need to move the position over, but as you can see, it falls off the edge. So we can decrease the scale a little bit, move the position in, and then we can bring that up. But the problem is the box is not long enough. So this is where we could go into the box. We can increase the scale, move the position over so that it now fits. And when we play this back, you'll notice there is a very slight overlap because it's a pinch too long. So we're just going to decrease the scale of the box just a little bit. And then that means we're just going to have to pull the scale of those years, years down. Of course, I am just going to bring this 80 a little bit closer like this. And of course, you can see everything is over to the right. So this is where we would go into master controls and just move everything back to the center. So when we play this back, everything's working exactly how it should, even though we've changed an awful lot in this process. So as you can see, I've tried to give you as much control as possible because I've downloaded these title animations so many times from companies and it literally just is change the text, change the color, and that's it. So you have got full control, but it does mean you can break it quite easily. When I was building these, there are certain parameters that I couldn't really get around, like creating masks. So if you increase something too big, it might start to clip or it might slightly fall off screen. So I've tried my best to give you as much control as possible. But just be aware that sometimes something might slightly fall out. 
So for example, this per year, you can see it falls out just there. But as long as you keep it relatively close to what the original animation was, then you shouldn't have too many problems. Now I'm just going to show you another example. So it's just not that one. Let's go for this lower third. So you've got this one here. So the line animates up. Chris Brooker, video director. So we can go into the text. So we've got master controls, text one, text two, text three, and then you've got the line. So we can change the position of the line. We can increase the size of it, both in thickness and in height. It's not linked, so you can affect them exactly how you want. You can change the color of that, or then you can go into all of the text layers. You can change everything about this. You can even increase the stroke width as well. Basically, there's a lot you can do with these. Now, these presets are completely free to download. I've created them to help as many video creators as possible. So they're 50 free title animations in Adobe Premiere Pro, completely free to download. All you need to do is just go onto the website, download it, and then just install it into your Premiere, and you've got 50 animations. Now, the only thing that I ask in return is, could you please let me know if there are any issues? I would hate for somebody to be really fighting with this if something isn't working. So if it crashes, if it doesn't work, if you break it somehow, then please do let me know and I'll try my very best to fix that specific title animation. So go and have fun playing with these title animation presets and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.